Hey, it's your boy BT, Brendan Taylor. You're watching Fifth Street Gym on South Beach. You're watching True School Sports. Um, we have that fight. We have, um, I know you're kind of excited for this one. We have uh, James DeGale, Badu Jack. Uh, yeah. What do you think about that one, and, and what do you what do you think should happen to, to, to the winner of that fight? Like, what, what do you think they should go from there? Um, you know, I, I think it's a good fight. Um, I, I saw a lot of Body Jack fights. I, mm -hmm. I saw I haven't seen like much James DeGale fights, to be honest with you. The only fight I saw was that Porky Medina fight. Mm -hmm. And um, so I don't know. I I, I got to check out more of James DeGale fights. So I don't know who's gonna win. Uh huh. But um, it should be a good fight. Yeah. You know? Um, but the winner, um, yeah, you know, I, I, I think the winner should fight, like, um, Gilberto Ramirez and the winner of George Groves and Fedor Chudinov. Yeah, that could, that could work. I, I'm yeah, gonna... so they can, so, you know, we can have a guy at the super middleweight division. Yeah. Yeah, because Ramirez holds the WBO title, and, um, Chudinov and Groves, they're fighting for the vacant WBA title, vacated by Felix Sturm. Um, and you know, and DeGale has the IBF and Jack has the WBC, so I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a great one. Um, we got also, um, huge one. We're not talking 80,000 at Wembley Stadium, but we're talking potentially 90,000 at Wembley Stadium. So sorry, Carl Frotch, Anthony yeah. Joshua, probably going to break the ticket record, but, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua, what do you think about that fight? Um, Joshua, uh, you know, I said in the post-fight interview and, you know, my, my, my predictions hasn't changed. You know, I still got Joshua. Um, you know, because Klitschko, not not only is he older, but he hasn't been active either. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I don't know. I, I give Joshua, I think Joshua will take care of it. But um, I'll give Klitschko, um, you know, a chance if he gets him past round seven to test his, like, you know. His endurance and stuff. His stuff. Yeah, his stamina and stuff. But, um, yeah, man, um, I, I, I think Joshua's going to take care of that. Yeah, it, that's going to be a good one. What do you think? What do you think? Like, for like, and, and Anthony Joshua is to win, and he does beat Klitschko. Like, what do you think that does? Hold on, go that way. What do you think overall that does for like boxing? Like, I, I what mean, happens? I mean, um, it, it should. Um, well, I, I don't know what it would do, but like, um, I know it will make him. Like, it should make him like sort of the guy at the heavyweight di of the heavyweight division. Yeah. Because um, because if he beats Klitschko. He clearly has the better resume than everyone else. He has the better resume than Parker. He has the better resume than Wilder. And um, he also has the better resume than... Um, well, no one has the WBA deep WBA title, so yeah. I, I don't know yet. But, um, yeah, but um, I know he's already going to have like a better resume than everyone else. Not to mention Klitschko is the number one guy in the division. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, man... It, it should make him the guy at the heavyweight division. You've been saying to me for a while that, you know, all those other fights for Joshua are cool, but the one fight you wanted to see more Jarell than, oh, uh, is Jarrell Miller versus Anthony Joshua. Why do you want to see that fight so bad? Oh man, you know, it's just, well, the build up is going to be so exciting, man, because like, I don't know, it's, just, it's, it's always exciting, but the build up to a fight with Jarrell Miller, man, a good trash talker, and um, yeah, man, you know, they're, they're both hard punchers at um, heavyweight, and um, yeah, you know that, that. That's why, man. I I, I like see two hard punching, you know, guys like go at it, man. Yeah. I like so, um, and I'm going for Jarrell Big Baby Miller, man. If that fight ever happens, like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> Yo, um, but yeah, Jarrell Big Baby Miller, man. I'm going for him. Hard work, dedication, cheeseburgers. Hard work, dedication, cheeseburgers, man. Yeah, Jarrell Miller. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, he's he's here in Florida training, I know, right now. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope, I hope at some point that happens, but not, not right now. I don't think Jarrell would be able to beat Anthony or really compete for a long period of time with Joshua. But I want to see it at some point yeah. if he earns it. 